Ever since James Gunn revealed the first look, the internet has shared its opinion on the new costume. They also shared a lot of nerd tears because, oh my god, I've never seen a bunch of grown ass men crying on social media over a superhero costume. It's a fake costume. And they're acting like gay costume designers who work for fucking Versace over a costume. Doom. It's not real. Do you want my girl's tampons to show up your regime so you can stop crying and having your period over this? Holy bejesus. Naturally, some are on board with the idea while others are not. Stop worked on Zack Snyder's Man of Steel and several other projects as part of the latter group. He said on X that the suit chest and arms look bulky and rubbery when speaking solely from the layout perspective. Yeah, because it's a uniform. David Cornsweet is wearing a suit. He's not wearing a skin-tight leotard. Like, what are we talking about here? Yeah, it's going to look a little bulky because David Cornsweet, I don't know if you know this, but he's a big guy. Interestingly, he did oppose a couple of questions as well, asking stuff as, who thought this was the best option for a first look? I don't know, James Gunn, perhaps? And are those trunks we are returning to? No, it's your mom's play sex toy with David Cornsweet's face on it. What do you think it is? Of course, it's underwear. It's Superman, for God's sakes. In a different post, Clay took a style, apologies for the pun, he should get punched in the face of saying some stupid shit like that at the look designing himself where he posted a brighter version of the official first look having removed the background where the city is under attack he also added a giant superman logo at the top to add more comic book like effect to his design and yeah it's a very cool design but again i don't think that look will service the movie because it's too simplistic much like you cannot replicate the same suit that Christopher Reeve wore back in 1978. If David Cornsweet wore, wore the exact same suit that Christopher Reeve wore back in 1978, guess what? It would look horrendous and it would look stupid no matter how jacked you are. Staub explained the design by saying that he understood the original design's concept but urged the filmmakers to embrace it and advised that they do not try to appease the masses with hybrid concepts. He also added that they must be bold with a new approach instead of ever going halfway about it. Well, Clay Staub, you have to appease the masses because it's the masses who are paying the tickets to see these movies. You think these movies make a billion dollars because of the hardcore fan base? No, you have to appease the masses because they're the ones who are shelling out the money and spreading the word of mouth if if you took the entire collective nerd culture to see these comic book movies all of these comic book movies would fucking fail at the box office facts get used to it lord have mercy bro and he should know this like isn't this dude in the film industry like what is he talking about uh, either way, bro, listen, at the end of the day, a costume does not make a movie. You know what makes a movie? Story, characters, plot, action, visual effects, all the ingredients to make a great movie. Whether this was a bad superhero costume or a great superhero costume, it's just an aesthetic choice. It doesn't matter. Some people might like it. Some people love it. Who cares? We're all going to watch this movie and we're all going to hopefully love it. So that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that good shit. Uh, and yeah, at the end of the day, it's a superhero costume. Relax, go outside, have a coke and a smile, do some drugs. And Clay Staub, thank you for wasting my time with all those hashtag Restore Sniper's tweets, all those secret tweets. Go fuck yourself. Not really. Love you all. <laughs>